Beautiful. And how was your coffee? Oh, it's great. Thanks. Oh, good. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Paper Flare with Mother Bear. I'm just here having coffee with my friend here, Bonnie. And we're, I'm just showing here a picture of my uh, cat's girlfriend here that I did. What do you think of it? I love it. It's great. Love the bling. Do you like the bling? Yes. Do you know what it's made out of? No, I don't. Would you like to know how I made it? I'd love to know. I'll tell you what, let's finish up here and I will show you and the viewers how I did this. So let's just finish up, okay? Okay, And we'll get go. going. So, Bonnie, do you know what's in here? I'm not sure. Well, this is what we're going to be working with today. Let's open it up and find out. Oh, gooey. Yeah, isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> so, Boots, we're going to make a picture of your girlfriend for you, just like you requested. Okay? So you can go if you'd like. Go ahead. Where are you going to go? Okay, we'll see you later, Bootsy. <laughs> Cat hair. So, Bonnie, what we're going to do is we're going to get down and gooey. Okay. Yes. We're gonna get what we're gonna work on is the frame here first, okay? So grab some stuff out of here, plop it down. You work on this side. I wanna stay towards the edge, right? Yeah, we're towards framing. the edge, yeah. And um, mm, so what this is, Bonnie, is that it's with the paper mache glue, like the paper mache that we that I use is um, a cup of flour, two cups of water, and salt and everything on it. We should actually spray a little bit of water so it sticks a little bit better here. Oh, underneath. Yeah, just underneath there. <laughs> and uh, we'll just put this around. Mm -hmm. Now, what I've done is I put the paper in there just to, not too thick, a little bit thinner. Okay. We don't want it too thick. What I found is that if you go too thick and if it's too mm -hmm. wet, what happens is that um, oh, when it still. dries, it curls up the edges. All right, mine's yeah. still. So just go in like that. It okay. should be good. So we're just going to put this around here. We don't need it too thick. I'll still thin mine out some. Yeah, you can, yeah I thin yours out quite a bit more. Right. Otherwise, it'll just take for ages to dry. Where'd you get all that paper? Oh, you know what? This, this is a newspaper that, you know how you get flyers and stuff? I save that stuff up and um, I shred it as we get it in. Oh, okay. And then I just reuse it for my, my projects. And I have people saving their shredded uh, stuff with me too. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's a good way to recycle. So we just let this soak for a while and everything in the paper Mine's soaks everything too. up. Yeah, I would thin it out a bit more. <laughs> you just like getting thick on that stuff, I don't you? So. <laughs> All right. Now, now it doesn't feel, it's not as gooey as you think. Gooey, no, I it's not. Say. It's not as gooey as I thought. Yeah. Okay. You're right. So we'll just place that on there. So today we're making something for my pet cat, Boots. Boots, he has a girlfriend that looks like him. And he wants a picture portrait of her. Oh, nice. Okay. She's a little bit, you know, scared of mice, and Boots protects her with the mice and everything. So <laughs> I have a per perfect picture that I'd like to make of her. Aw. Yeah. So it's uh, going to be Boots, this is girlfriend, with mice, and her looking the diva that she is. <laughs> yeah, she has a diamond necklace, collar, and she's just quite the diva. So then we're going to make a diva cat. Okay, so we have that. That's pretty good. Now what we're going to do, now let's just get this. Mine's still already a did thick, yeah. sorry. Just kind of pat it down like that and get it in there. So what we want to do is we're going to start building the body, okay? So we're going to grab a whole bunch, mm -hmm. just plop it in the middle. All right. Okay. All right, now we're going to, we want it up quite high so that it, um, it stands out. It's almost like a, like a 3D. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Because what we'll do afterwards to the face and the body of the cat, what we're going to do is we'll, we'll mold it with, um, with some mud if we need to. Okay. Okay, so. Are you molding the cat already or you're yeah, just? Yeah, I'm doing the cat. Okay, so did so you want to do the bolt? Oh, I could try. Or you want? <laughs> <laughs> you could try. I'll help you later. Certainly. <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do boots, legs, and everything, head. And you can't. Oh, running out of paper mache. Oh yeah. And um, 
We're going to do the ears. There we go. Get that done there. Do the nose. See nice. how it's, it's coming? It yeah, looks good. And then we want to kind of get that there. And kind of make the ears stand out. We have the nose, right? Mm -hmm. And we get the little cheekies. And we're going to have the mouth. So we stuck, stuck my finger in there for the mouth. There's the neck. See how that works? Yeah, that's Now I'm going to super. give a tongue. Right? Because the tongue's going to be, the cat's going to be meowing. The tongue's going to be sticking out because she is just livid that there's mice all over the place. So we got the tongue here and we're just going to stick that in there and the tongue's going to be right there. See the tongue? Oh, nice tongue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have a little more whiskers oh here. Because yeah. there we go. So this cat's going to be, when we're done with it, it's going to have diamonds on it, it's going to have whiskers, eyelashes, it's going to be a diva kitty. Oh, very nice. Yeah, it's going to be a diva kitty. So, now, we're just going to do the legs here. See how we do the legs, just pinch that there. You shape that pretty good, that's what I'm watching. You just kind of go in. Hey, you know the best tool, I, I bought tools to use. But you know what I end up using all the time? Your hands? My Chicken. hands, yeah. Okay. So this cat's gonna eat some paws. So the paws are gonna go down here. So the paws are gonna be sticking out, okay? Because mm -hmm. the arms are here, like so. And the paws are gonna be sticking out like that, right? And I'm gonna do the same on this side over here. We're gonna pinch it. I need some more yeah, of this. you still have a little more there. And these are going to be the paws. And we can build this up with the mud, build the chest up with the mud, okay. which we will do. We're just going to spread this out a bit That's more because he's looking kind of scrawny. Okay. And bring that up. We need, need to do the there tail. Okay. So the tail's going to come from behind here. Okay. Nice. This is all you have there, just so you know. Okay. All right. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to uh, have to make a little bit more paper mache. Okay. So we'll be back in a second to make and uh, with the Step. rest of the paper mache to finish this off. Okay, so I got some more of this old, the shredded paper and everything done. I just need you to get your hands in there and mush it up a bit more. Just I'm going to spray some more water in there. Absolutely. Okay, just mush it up. I can. Doesn't that feel like, oh, what so does it feel like to you? Does it feel like dough or like you're baking? It feels or? like stringy, but dough, but then stringy, right? I guess that's kind of weird. Kind yeah. of a weird feeling. You might want just a little more squirt. I don't know how more? Feel. Yeah, a little bit dry. So we'll just squirt, squirt that a bit more. So I know Boots wanted a <laughs> picture, <laughs> but what gave you the idea to do it on? Is that a canvas? Painting this canvas? This is a painting canvas. Now, I thought I would do this for Boots, and I'd put it in the basement. Boots likes being in the basement quite a bit, and I'll hang it up there for him. He has, you know, he's a weird cat. <laughs> this is the type of cat that doesn't want to go in his litter box. He's like a dog. He wants to go outside to the bathroom all the time. Well, that's nice, though. But anyway, he really is, um, he's met this little kitty cat that looks just like him. <laughs> and so he's quite taken with her, so I'm, I'm going to do this for him. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, I think that's good to Okay, go. let's you grab go some. So make it, the dish a little bit bigger, because we're going to put some gems on that, right? Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm just going to um, add to the arms here in that. There we go. So on this, too, we're going to pinch it and get it nice and tight. All right. Yeah, because how do you keep all the, like, what do you keep them all together so the strings don't fall? It's just all the stuff inside the flower. What do you have, flour? There's flour and um, and uh, water mixture on this. Yeah. yeah. So that keeps it on. And we'll spray it down a little bit with water. Mm -hmm. And then we uh, have a mudding thing that we put on there, kind of a liquidy stuff that we'll put on there that, that um, will bring all this together. Okay. And it will soften up and it won't be sticking all over the place. Right. So. Oh, that's good. All right, so you got that done. Is that big so enough? 
What I want you to do, we're going to add a little bit onto the tail. Yeah, that looks good enough. A little bit onto the tail here for the cap and bring that curve. So we're going to go up around on, you know, we're going to go over top of the, the frame that we did just to make it look like it's popping out a bit, like a 3D type thing. Oh, for his for him. Yeah, and then you can put a mouse, make a mouse up there. I can make a mouse. You up can there. make a mouse. I'm going to make a big mouse down here. <laughs> you can make a mouse. We'll see. <laughs> you can make a mouse. I'm going to make a big mouse down up here. here. Up there? No, right. oh, on his tail. Oh, He's on, resting oh, on her on tail. His tail. I will start it. It's you not a flying mouse. You might have to <laughs> shape it. <laughs> Not, Mice don't fly. Not a flying mouse. So whatever your interpretation Ooh, is of a mouse. Uh, so make it as if, you know, you have to kind of, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to put a mouse here. He's scurrying off. I'm going to bring it over here. So basically you just kind of form the mouse. This is a little bit smaller mouse here. Yeah. Mine's going to be just a little bit of a bigger mouse. And I'm going to grab some stuff here. Oh, okay. I'm doing my mouse from here. That's yeah, no, and I'm doing mine here. What, I see what you're doing. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so I'm going to make it little ears. Sometimes it's hard when you got this stringy stuff to make ears, but we got it. See, there's just little ears. A little. Oh, See, cute. simple as that. It's, it's not that hard. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> it's for you, but no, it's coming. See, it's you That's just got to use. You just gotta use your imagination. You got a good imagination. I do. But. Mm -hmm. You have lots of cats. How many cats do you have? Two cats and a dog. Oh, how does that work? Uh, it's, it's it's entertaining. <laughs> they get along, but it's yeah, definitely entertaining. That's your dog's sure. Clifford, right? Clifford, spoiled yeah. Clifford. He owns the house. Yes, I I met Clifford. He's quite quite an interesting dog. Yes, <laughs> I like Clifford though. He's a he's a good dog. So there's my little mouse there. He's kind of running off. Oh, very good. So you see his boots good. coming. Booties. There we go. So there's that. i got to make a little, you know, tail. There you go. Now we need a mouse over here. So I'll make a, no, you can make that mouse. I'm going to make a bird over here. Okay. Yeah, no, you can. I'm going to, how's your little mouse coming? Well, oh, it looks good. You might have okay, to shape it a little for me. What we want to do, it's a mouse sitting on the tail. <laughs> you squished my mouse. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 sitting on the, it's, it's sitting on the tail, so you have to kind of picture that. Okay, good. So I'll fix it up. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to squish your mouse. That's okay. Okay, so I'm going to make a bird over here. So my bird's going to be flying because it's in the air. As birds okay. do fly, right? There's my little mouse, though. Most birds, anyway. There we go. Okay, so we got the body here. There we go. I just give you to give another squirt in here. It's just, it it dries out a little fast, yeah, hey? There you go. Thank you. If we need to squirt, we can squirt on here. Perfect. Just so, just, there we go. Not too much, though. That's my bird. It's going to attack the cat. And that's where Boots is going to come in and save his little diva. Okay, so now I need to do some wings. So it's, you know, it's, it's, the paper mache is like clay. When you get it like this, it is, it is like a clay. And the good thing about paper mache, it's a lot lighter oh. than clay and, and you don't have to worry about it cracking or anything mm -hmm. like clay does. And if you make something like this, if you get clay on here, you lift it up, it's going to be heavy, right? Yeah. But with paper mache, when it dries, it's light. It's light? Yeah, it's light. It's pretty light. You see how I'm putting the wing out like this, like it's flying? Mm hmm so I see my birds kind of moving around, right? I got to get them stuck down. There we go. I'm going to get my bird up like this, make oh, a little beak on him. In. And again, with the mud and that, we can refine things with the mud and everything too. Okay, so there's very one wing. Very good, very good. Like that, like that. Okay. And then we're going to do the other wing. How's your mouse coming? Well, it's, I, I'm just trying to picture it. Mine's supposed to be sideways. I was looking at yours. Okay. Well, mine's now it's going this way. So what your mouse is going to be doing, it's going to be sitting up here and it's going to have its nose inside to eat. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, I should have been a little more <laughs> clear on that. It's all right. That's my bad. I may have to get you to help me with my mouse after, but that's okay. Oh, it's good. We can fix it up your later. Your bird's good. We can fix it up later. Because I'm not picturing how my mouse is going to go. So I'm going to put a mat around here because she's on her picnic yeah. mat. So I'm going to grab 
whatever's left here, and I've got to wet this. It is dry. Yeah, you have a little bit more if you need to here, yep. just so you know. And I'll look in my mouth while I... It's hard not to watch you. You go so fast there. I'll go slower. No, that's okay. I'm trying to... So we to just want to get an uh, outline of the mat, and then when we paint it and everything in, we can see what it's like. Is that oh, that's yours? That was for you if you needed oh, it. Oh, okay, sorry. But again, I, you probably will have to help me shape my mouse, but that's okay. It's okay, we'll finish that. No. <laughs> Here's your mouse over here. You just keep on going, you're doing good. Well, if you just keep going, right? Yeah, that's just so. keep going and shaping it, you know. I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm more, I can, everybody's. Kind of, you're good at doing stuff, I've seen you do I'm stuff. More, I'm kind of not, uh, but this is good, you're showing me. See, so you see how I bring this oh, around yeah. here. I think I actually got it. Oh, good. Oop, there goes some. There we go. There we are. So, and then you can make one of these for your cat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, now here, you see how I have mm -hmm. this shaping? Now we just want some flat. This is going to be flattened here, so it gives it that. Wait in here, all this? No, this stays up here, because okay. as you see this, and then this back here is flat. It gives that 3D effect. Mm -hmm. Kind of. <laughs> when it's all done, you'll see. I see, and if you keep playing with it, I do yeah. notice it does start to shape up. You so you just so up. don't yeah. give up. Nope, never give <laughs> keep up. Keep going at it. Yeah, if there's a will, there's a way, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do the chest here. I'm gonna build up her chest. She looks kind of wimpy there. You have a little bit more here if you need it. Okay. That's it. You can take that. Okay. Perfect. You can take that. There we go. So then once we get this all done up here and everything, we just want to kind of smooth things out. Okay. Yeah, we're going to smooth things out. And I think we're doing pretty good here. How long does it dry, take to dry? You know, in TV land, it doesn't take long to dry. <laughs> We've got everything dried. So what we've done, Bonnie, ahead mm -hmm. of time, just to save some time, is that we uh, did the liquid mud on there. So if you want to pass me that, I'm just going to show everyone yeah. what we use. Oh. Now, what I used here, what Bonnie and I used here, I should say. Thicker? Yeah. <clears throat> is that we, we really dabbed this. Now, this is this really thin, I thinned this out, kind of a mud. It's, it's with paint and flour and salt, OK? that I put in here, okay? Salt, salt so it doesn't get that moldy, because if it's, if you're letting it dry and you let it, it, it does get a smelly oh. smell, so you, it just Good. stops the mold and everything on it. So then we dab it in here, and make sure we try to get it in all the spots, so, so that's why when we do this, we dab it on, okay? Then after we put that on, I went over everything with that, with this. So you don't want to have, you want to put it on, but be, not so, I can put that over here, okay. and uh, don't go overboard again. We don't want getting this too soggy, right? because it, when you dry it, I would always tape it on the ends, uh, wherever you're drying it, with duct tape so it holds down so it dries flat. Oh, yeah. Otherwise it could curl up, I know that from experience. So, so then after that, what we've done, Bonnie, what we did mm -hmm. is um, we got some of our good old dap here, wall, uh, drywall mud. This is great stuff. It's pink, right? So when you put it on, everything is pink. So this poor cat was pink when, <laughs> when we did this. Now it's white, means everything's dry. We're good to go for painting on this. So what we did, we kind of smoothed out the whole cat because it was really bumpy. And uh, we smoothed it out. We still want a little bit of bumpiness because cats have their fur, so you yeah. want a little bit of texture on that. I filled in the eyes a little bit. The tongue sticking out there, build up the nose and the ears too. Smoothed out the the mice, mm -hmm. and here's the bird. We smoothed everything out on that too. So this uh, we got everything done on that. We did nothing to the edges or anything. We didn't put that on there because we want that more of a rough finish right. on that. So then after when we did that, what we wanted to do so everything was settled properly is I took a flat matte paint, okay? It's uh, white and it's it's a matte color just to, to seal everything on here. 
and uh, it just helps seal things and get into these little crevices that we had on here and kind of fill those in too. Oh, yeah, because um, what we're gonna have to do now with our paint is we're gonna paint the trim brown. That's gonna be good. So that's trim we're gonna brown. paint it brown. Yeah. So let's get brown on here. Start with the brown. Start with the brown. You can start on that side and I'll start on this side. All right, so I'll just put some in there. A whole bunch. Say when, lots. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're gonna add some water to make it thin. All right. And just take your paintbrush, I'll take mine. All right. We'll go like Stir this. All right. And we're just gonna dab it in here like so. Okay. We wanna get this all dabbed in. We'll do the first coat. You'll probably have, we'll probably have to do two coats on it. So we'll just get that dabbed in there and everything here. And then we'll get the mice done and the cat done. I'll have you work on the, the mice. <laughs> I get to do the mice again? Yeah. Perfect. It's closer to you. Well, I have one mouse here too, and I can. <laughs> so you see how we have to get this liquidy so we can get it in there? Right okay. into the, oh, yes, yeah. yes. To get so it goes right in the. Yeah, so that's why you, you're gonna pieces. need two coats. And you don't want a brush that's too, too stiff. You want something that's, you know, this one's pretty good. So we've got that in there. All right. So we'll just get the first coat of that on there. So on this one here, we're gonna paint a hill scene behind there. And um, you can paint whatever kind of scene you want. I mean, I decided that this cat was going on a picnic <laughs> and, and um, it's gonna, it was with the hills. It was in the hills and she, she's sitting on her little mat and uh, the mice came to attack and grab her food and she's calling for Bootsy to come oh. save her. Yeah, and the birds flying over top, <laughs> driving her nuts too. So Boots will come in and so you save have quite her quite a on story, it. that's oh, good. Yeah. So there's always a story behind it. Like a picture has a thousand words. That's right. Yeah, so you that's can right. do whatever you want on here. Okay, so I need another pink thing here. So I got right here. I'm going to do black. So this one? I'm going to start the cat. Okay, I'm just going to finish up in this corner then, I guess. Yeah, do we have another paintbrush that I can use? Lori, you, can you, you do, yeah, I'll get Lori to grab me a paintbrush there. Oh, thank you, Lori. Nice. So I'm going to start on the cat. And so this cat is going to have a white belly, but its arms are going to be black. It's going to have white paws. Okay, that's why the comb, you know, Bootsy wanted a girlfriend looking just like him, and Boots is called Boots because? Because <laughs> of his paws. Yeah, because of his paws, yeah. Boots has many names. Boots, Bootsy, Mr. Boots, uh, Booters, Baby Cakes. <laughs> yeah, I've been calling them Baby Cakes quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I won't say what, what my daughter calls my cat. <laughs> my cat I boots. not ask then. Yeah, my cat Boots is really mean to her dog. Oh no. Yeah. This is a family show. <laughs> so, <laughs> how are you doing there? Good. I just don't know how far to go into here. So, what do you want me to do next? So, huh? what you want to do is uh, do we have another, Lori, if you can grab us another plate and then we're going to get your mice. are going to be gray okay. and white. So, you'll want to put some black in there to make some me white and, a, uh, and then a bit of. Uh, gray at uh, black in there so do the white first i guess to make my gray from my mice yeah all right so we're getting bootsy all black here or bootsy's girlfriend so what we're going to do with boots his girlfriend here i'm not sure what a girlfriend's name is well this color princess he's he's you know i don't know what his girlfriend's name she's going to actually have a diamond necklace around Ooh, here what do you use for that well diamond and pearl necklace so what i use is oh. i have the diamonds and pearls here nice. she's going to have a black necklace around there and she's going to have that around her neck nice. and then also her little dish here it'll yep. be pink she's okay. a princess and it's going to have diamonds on there too because she oh, is a diva right she is yeah a she's a diva absolutely she is a diva so and this is still the same paint you use for most of your other stuff, right? Just the yeah, This acrylic? is the acrylic paint again. I'll get you to spray some water in there oh, just to right. thin it. Yeah, you want to thin that out so it sits in there better and it spreads easier. Otherwise, it's really thick. I mean, thick is good, but then you're wasting a lot of paint because right. you should thin the paint out. 
It dries quicker that way for the first coat. Oh, it dries quicker too? Yeah, if it's not too thick. Oh yeah. Yeah, it'll dry quicker. That makes sense. There we go. That so makes sense. that goes in there. So you you have like you said your two cats. Do they fight with the dog? Um, yes. <laughs> well, the one cat doesn't fight with the dog because she's scared, so she goes and hides. Mm -hmm. The other cat does a little bit. Oh. He just tries to play, but he's too much bigger than them. So then they get scared because he he's not trying to be mean. Oh. So on my mice, should I leave space to do eyes and stuff, or can I just do them all gray? Do you do your, like, you know, when you paint it after for their eyes? Because I noticed you always do the other nice eyes and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I can just paint it yeah, all you gray. You paint it all gray. And then you just come in after, or I can come in after. I can come in after. <laughs> 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 and fix it up. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, you can, we can paint it whatever color. Uh, was that supposed to be? Yeah, that's black. I'm just trying to think what colors I've done all this stuff. Because your second coat, you come in and kind of do more details, right? Yeah. Or, okay. Yes, yes. So we do this, and then we'll, we'll just add everything. So right through here, this is going to be white in here. And this is all white in here, so I'm going to go black around the eyes here. I'm going to paint the eyes. Do you have anything all black? Okay, we're just going to get this all painted, painted and then it's going to look fabulous. Bonnie, your mouse turned out pretty darn good. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. yeah, well, I think overall we did pretty good on the picture, don't you? Oh, looks good, yes. You know, i really like to thank you for helping me out with the picture. My pleasure. Oh, you're welcome. And I'd like to thank you viewers for watching our show. Please stay tuned for the next show. It's going to be lots of fun. So, from me to you, handmade with special care by Mutter Bear. Until next time, have fun creating your very own paper flare. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.